غير غير المغضوب عليهم so let me repeat this غير المغضوب عليهم once again غير المغضوب عليهم and then again this is part of it ولا الضالين ولا الضالين okay so this is part of the uh, first verse we'll talk about it and then at the end uh, whether we are praying alone or with the imam in a congregation we say amin amin so i'll explain that in a bit okay so now as you can see here that we are describing the people that we don't want to be from so as it says that look uh, right last time we said the people that allah favored we want to be of them who these are the people who are guided to the straight path and the ones who are not guided who have earned the anger of allah or who have gone astray so one way of understanding this is people who know the truth and they don't obey these are the people who have earned the anger of allah by themselves because they decided not to obey allah and the dalin the ones who have went astray is you know, they said that, okay, we want to be spiritual, we want to be godly, but they never learned how do you become godly. You don't become godly by just doing whatever you feel like doing or meditation or, you know, just, you know, doing good or taking care of people when you feel like it. But you do good by, how do you do good? Is by learning what does Allah wants of me. It's to read and it's to learn how did the messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, right? That's the role of the messenger. He taught us how to worship. So yes, you can have, you know, general prayers, you can call out to Allah, you know, anytime you like, but, you know, the, knowing the proper times of prayers, which is compulsory, right? So performing the prayers in those compulsory time in the way that the Prophet taught you is to follow the way of Allah, is to learn about it and then to follow that. And then later, last thing we say, Amin, which means, oh Allah, answer this prayer of us, accept this and give us what we are asking. So sometimes you would notice when you're praying in the mosque, in congregation, the imam, the one who is leading it, if, he, if he's reading out loud, he would recite the whole thing. And then at the end, everybody in the congregation would say, Ameen. Okay, now here, uh, so let's take a look at the transliteration. So, غي, غي, ريل, مغل, دو. So this is a heavy sort of D. Do mal do a lay him and here what up so heavy d and uh, actually this should be a... so i have like a lot of stretch here like almost six so it's what a do lean i mean okay so that was helpful with this we completed the first chapter of Quran, and this is something that you would read in every um, rakah. And again, the description would have the list for the whole playlist. It would also have the PDF and the apps. Okay, and this document that we showed earlier, you know, would be also in the video description. So you can access all the transliteration by following this link. And obviously, at the bottom, you have the link to the PDF as well as the app. So until next time, Assalamu Alaikum.